If you think if you think that headphones are only used to listen to music and make the volume louder and softer, you're missing out on these eight additional features. Check this out. Yes, the good old earbuds. These happens to be USB type C ones, but these tips and tricks will also work with the 3.5 millimeter jack headphones, as well as the Bluetooth headphones, as long as they got this kind of controller. So everybody knows the basics. You plug it in and then you take your controller, press the volume up button and the volume goes up, press it down and the volume comes down. Press the button in the middle and it pauses the music, press the button again and it unpauses it. But that's not where it ends, there's a whole bunch of more to know. For example, if you happen to be not within an app and you press the volume up button, it will change your ringtone volume. Press it down, it will bring it down all the way down to vibrate and even mute depending on the type of phone that you have. If you happen to be watching a YouTube clip, what you can do is press the button, it will pause the video, press it again and it will unpause it. Now, if you double press the button, it will go to the next video and this works really well when videos are in a playlist, so you want to watch the next one. Now, technically, if you triple press the button, it should go to the previous video. And I say technically and I say should because it sometimes worked and sometimes didn't. It seems to work a lot better in music application than it did on YouTube. If you long press the clicker, it will fire up the Google Assistant or the Bigsby, depending on which you've set up as your default. And then you can talk to your assistant and ask it its normal questions as you would as if you were holding the phone straight through the earpiece. Really, really useful, especially when you're in a crowded place and there's lots of noise, but you still want to use your assistant. Now, to me, this is wow and quite an amazing feature that you should get. Go and download the Google Translate application from the Google Play Store and then going to long hold that button and then we're going to say translate from English to Spanish. Our good old Google Assistant is going to fire up the Google Translate application and then we're ready to use it. Now, what you can do is just simply talk normally into your headphones and it will automatically translate it into the language that you've chosen. So, for example, let's do this quickly. What is your name? And as you can see, it's in real time translates it onto the screen as well as actually says it out loud. So if you press a little microphone, you will actually hear it and you can actually hear it in your headphones as well. Now, if you press the other side, now the person speaking that foreign language will be able then to translate it back to English. Now, since I don't speak Spanish, let's try it with something I do speak. Translate from English to Afrikaans. Now, Afrikaans is a language spoken in South Africa. So let's see and test this to make sure it actually is correct. So let's do something simple. What is your name? Yeah, what is your name is the correct response. And as you can see, we can go back and forth between the various languages and actually have a conversation with someone who doesn't speak the same language as you do. Now, I must say it got most of it right, not 100% of the time, but definitely enough to get you by, which makes traveling to foreign countries where you don't speak the local language even less scary and an absolute pleasure. Now you don't need to have a USB type C type of headphones for this to work. This is a normal 3.5 millimeter jack. As long as it's got that controller, it will work. Here I'm sticking into my BlackBerry Key 2 on the headphone jack because it still has a headphone jack, which is nice to know. First, we're gonna try the camera. So let's fire up this little baby. And with the pressing the volume up button, it will actually snap a picture. Now within some of the camera application, you can actually set what to do with the volume key. I'm gonna set mine to zoom. It's actually quite a cool little feature to have. Let's have something we can actually aim at. Here are my Vidaiki sunglasses, and I'm gonna be able to zoom in. So, take a picture, or volume up, and it zooms in. Where this becomes really useful is when you're trying to take that selfie without having your arm stretched in front of you and trying to get out of the way. It just looks weird. Simply have your headphones hanging by your side, snap the button, and there's your selfie taken. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Check out some of these other cool videos. Hit the head below to subscribe if you like tech, gadgets, how-tos. And I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.